welcome to episode 11. Now, Harv asked me to meet her on her farm out in Bursi um, for today's episode, for the start of today's episode, but I haven't been able to find her yet. So I think we're gonna go a walk around the farm and see if we can find her. But um, you love it though. I do love it, yeah. It's good fun, it's very high up. I did ask Gina to come here, she's right, but not just to witness my tractor driving skills because it would be a <laughs> damn short episode if that was the case. We're going to talk a little bit about Orkney's main industry today because we're going to do a tune called The One Legged Yow. So it's all about farming. It's all about farming and uh, agriculture and uh, about this poor yow that's only got the one leg. We should say, for those of you who don't know, a yow is a female sheep. Yes, a decrepit sheep <laughs> in this instance. So, will we go a spin? We'll go a spin. We're going to go a spin round Harv's farm. Watch this. Oh, her tractor drive. Oh! <laughs> She's got the skills. So, Harv has lived on the farm, well, basically her whole life, um, born and brought up until yep. she moved down to Glasgow and obviously we're both home due to Covid mm -hmm. um, but yeah your farm is a beef farm? Yeah beef farm so I've been uh, over the Covid times when us musicians haven't been able to do gigs and things I've been home um, helping dad with baling and wrapping and working with the cows good fun and you've been doing some teaching i've been doing a wee bit of teaching yeah i've been lucky enough to work up here now for the council um but instead of talking about us let's go i love cows but we need to find some sheep we do need to find some sheep so we don't have any here we don't have any on this farm but i think i know where we can go to find some sheep right we're gonna head over to evie Jeez, look at that gina Traffic jam. <laughs> In Orkney. Funny looking sheep. You see any one legged ones? No. Who's this now? <laughs> Morning girls, you look a bit lost. <laughs> well, actually I think you're just the buddy we're looking for. Oh, who are you looking for? <laughs> Pretty much you. <laughs> Alright, very good. We bumped into Mr. Sean Kershaw there. Ta-da! It's amazing that that just happened like that. Such a coincidence. Well done, Gina. Well done. Driving. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not complaining, it's not every day I bump into two bonnie lasses doing here on my runes. <laughs> and it's not today either. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's no coincidence in fairness folk, we had arranged to meet Sean today because he actually has a link in with our tune. He is a sheep farmer, amongst other things, but um, he is also an award winner, like our tune. The tune, the one-legged yow, won um, a nationwide competition back in the 90s for best reel and it's in the collection the 90s collection it's a fantastic book of tunes so if you fancy go and buy the book and you'll have a great time with all those tunes but Sean here also won a nationwide competition in 2019 he won Great Britain's fittest farmer so there you go he's got the muscles so sean you won the fittest farmer last year what was what was that like what did it actually entail um so it was a competition run by farmers weekly magazine they were uh, trying to promote physical and mental well-being within farming as uh, as you know a lot of farmers live very isolated lives and they don't take a lot of time yeah. to do hobbies for themselves or things for themselves Too busy. so it's trying to promote um, just getting in a better state of mind and keeping yourselves fit there was 14 males and 14 females to compete against in various different events just a lot of cardiovascular events how did you do with the cooking skills uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have won if it had anything to do with cooking <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was it was a hard day of competing, and I, like I say, I was lucky enough to be crowned the winner of it. So, do you promote that like within other farmers up here? Like, do you guys talk a lot about work and? Yeah, like like I say, a lot of people always say they don't have time mm -hmm. to do things, but 
Uh, I just take an hour every day to get me sail in the gym or go and do something outside that gets gets the heart rate going and like I find it very beneficial um, for me state of mind just uh, gets rid of a bit of stress and I quite often think about what I'm doing yeah. for the rest of that day I plan me whole day in the gym in the mornings before I've even started so yeah. I find it useful that way definitely so showing agriculture is obviously a huge part of life up here in Orkney how many sheep have you got on the farm yeah we are different a lot of farmers in Orkney we have predominantly sheep we have a thousand and fifty breeding ewes here on the farm uh, we have cattle as well but um, yeah I would say agriculture will, will, will still be the biggest and the most important thing to the islands uh, as far as just keeping the economy on the island going here I think I wouldn't be wrong in saying there's more beef cows here in Orkney than residents yeah. and um, we are the most densely populated area in Europe uh, for beef cattle and wow. it's a uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very important industry to the islands. It's kind of the beauty of Orkney, shaped by the farmers. You can see it, you can see where everybody's done their work, the dikes and the fences and kept the land in order. Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. people always say about Orkney and its beauty and I think the farmers have a lot to do with it. Definitely. Sean is actually one of the last residents to stay full time on Fera, which is obviously, as you guys know, where we got our band name from. I've done a lot of rare experiences in my time but Pharaoh was well up there I, I was I was a young boy I'd just left school um, I seen a lambing job advertised in the paper they were applying for a lama and I thought yeah I'll give this a go and uh, I, I went out there I think it was about maybe the last week in April and I was out there for three weeks on just solely on my own and it was pretty much like stepping back to I would say the late 1800s early 1900s and fair boy that had probably been pretty molly cuddled by his mother he certainly had to grow up pretty fast <laughs> <laughs> when I was out there there was a, a box bed and only half the house had a, a flagstone floor the rest was just shingle off the beach oh my there's, really? there's no washing facilities the only way I could wash was if I went in the sea there was about 400 ewes out there oh and uh, kept you they busy. were they were very primitive, they had different types of attitudes to a wee bit feral. I even mind one swimming out to sea. He came when I tried to catch her, I couldn't catch her and she she go through the fence, she headed out to sea. I was stood there on the shoreline thinking, well maybe this is time to get a wash at the same time. <laughs> that is of course uh, our most important question though, which is what do you think our chances are of finding a one legged yeah? Uh, well here at Leggy we actually pride ourselves on having pretty good sheep so we don't generally keep one to one legs what? but I do however have a dog with three legs if that's any use <laughs> that'll do fine <laughs> so there you go we're not gonna get a one-legged yow for you the day but uh, instead we'll play you the fantastic tune written by Tommy Mainland the one-legged yow <laughs> Thank 
Thank you.